From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Conventional mining operations have relied on pneumatic machines for years, but mining equipment supplier Epiroc is confident that its handheld Rock Drill 100 is poised to replace current pneumatic models in the markets, especially once its multi-stage pusher leg becomes available. Journalist Simone Litka, who attended the customer day in June, tells us more. The HRD 100 finds extensive applications in conventional mining and tunneling operations, particularly in support and production drilling. It excels at drilling and blasting operations required to develop and maintain mine faces, but Epiroc Business Development Manager South Africa for HRD David Beard tells Engineering News and Mining Weekly more about the HRD 100 during the company's customer day earlier this year. So what we've got behind me is the, the HRD 100. It's a hydraulic handheld rock drill um, designed for, for conventional mining to replace the current pneumatic machines that are in the market. Um, reasons being is that it, it, it reduces your operational costs, increases your productivity and reduces um, your, your, or increases your safety for your operators underground. On our power pack system, um, we have an intelligent power pack. So what that does is it reads the pressures and the flows of the, of the oil that goes to the rock drill. Uh, when the drill operator is drilling, it, it increases the, the pressure and the flow naturally um, and it uses your, your 10 kilowatts of power that is, is required to operate the, the, the hydraulic pump. When the operator switches off your percussion and rotation on the drill, the power pack will read that and, and, and go into standby mode only using one kilowatt of electrical supply during the course that it's, it's in standby mode. Um, if the operator does leave his drill lying on the ground or what, for whatever reason needs to go somewhere or do something, the power pack will automatically switch off using zero kilowatts. It's hydraulic, so no high pressure water systems. Um, the only thing we do require in terms of water is a 12 liter per minute flow and a five to eight bar water pressure supply. And that is purely to get the cooling of the oil done as well as the thrust from the leg to, to generate your, your one meter a minute penetration rate. Applications for, for conventional mining or tunneling um, to do your support drilling or your, your production drilling, in other words, uh, drilling your and blasting of the, of the faces that, that the mine require. The penetration rate that you get with the, the HRD 100 is it's, it's, it's the equivalent to other mediums in the market. However, your operational costs are a lot less than other mediums, including your pneumatic or the hydropower systems that you, that you mentioned earlier. Um, a capex is a little bit more expensive, but long term, a huge reduction in costs, not only in your energies as well as your production increasing, but your, also your, your, your tools like the drill steels and the drill bits, which we're getting longer life out of them for. So there's a lot to play for, there's a lot to, lot to take into consideration, but if they'd like to, they're more than welcome to reach out to us and we can give them a, a briefing on that. With its multi-stage pusher leg, the HRD 100 also offers versatility and adaptability to different mining environments. We started the, the HRD 100 and we had five different sized pusher legs. So we had a 0 0.9, a 1 meter, 1 1.2 and a 1.5 that were designed for the different stoping heights as well as your development ends um, to get the optimal uh, drilling rate and, and, and drilling practice. Uh, for the different areas. Um, we did realize, however, that sometimes this is not beneficial, uh, that it is required to, to, to try and design one leg to suit all. Hence, we started with a multi-stage pusher leg, which is quite well known in the pneumatic market, but with water, it was a little bit more tricky. Um, so the, the, the initial design was it would, it, would, it would stretch out three phases, um, three stages, but the operator had to pull it back physically to release the water out of the leg and pull the leg back into position. Uh, we've now upgraded that and redesigned it with the local suppliers and they are doing a retractable multi-stage pusher leg, first in the world, first on the market. And that's why, we're, that's why we, we partnered with them for this. It's under test at the moment um, with successful trials to date. We've been drilling with it for, for the last few weeks. Uh, so we'll give it another month or two and then uh, once we've got the final results in and, and, and changed one or two little things that, that may come up, then we will release it to the market. Local content was also quite topical during Beard's presentation on the day, so he tells us a bit more about the specifics. Local content on this system is majority is, is local content. Um, you've got the drill and the power pack which are currently um, assembled in, in Sweden in our, in our production plant there. 
there are uh, discussions and, and projects in place that we are, are addressing to, to look and see if we can move that part of that to the South African market. Um, to do that, obviously, we would need our customer support in this matter, and we would do it as quickly as possible. So local content, we would like to go from approximately 60% through to 100% purchased in South Africa. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.